Do you hate ads? I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence. It keeps this channel ad free. Hello folks, welcome to Ink Dependence. I'm Mike, and today we have all this space, uh, because I kind of need it. I have, I have this bag uh, here from Track, which is one of my very favorite bag companies. Uh, Y'all know that I love the Track Largo, and I have talked about them <laughs> on my live streams and that sort of thing, but uh, they showed a picture of what's in this a while ago on their, like, I don't know, Facebook stories or something, and I was like, I have to have that if they ever make it, because it wasn't certain that they would, and then they did, and so, like, I had to buy it. So that's just kind of the story of how this got here. Um, everything from Track is made in Scotland. Uh, I love that they ship in the bag. It's much, I mean, it's got to be easier to ship than boxes and take up less space and weight and waste and all that jazz. But yeah, very nice, uh, sturdy, sturdy shipping bag. I've never had one of these get damaged or anything in shipping. And they can be a lot of different sizes too, because it's kind of tape it over uh, where they're done. So uh, let's get into this bag. Okay, so in here are two bags. Um, firstly, haha. Oh. Yeah, the main event. This is the Track Largo. Uh, the Track Largo is a crossbody bag, which is meant to be worn as a sling, usually on your back or on your chest. I suppose you could also wear it as sort of a, a hip pouch bum bag situation, but it's not really meant for that. It's really meant to go around your body, which uh, I, I really like a, a bag like this. They kind of fit close to the close to your body and they can carry a lot of stuff very comfortably. This is the reason that I got it is because this black and white is just so striking. Uh, looked gorgeous in pictures, and I love X-Pack. And that's what this material is here. You can see all the X's on here. This is X-Pack VX21 fabric, which is waterproof. Uh, it is low stretch. There's not really any give to this situation. It's a 210D face fabric on here, and then it is layered and laminated together with other fabrics, including this uh, X-Pack weave in here, which gives it extreme strength and such. It's got good durability against abrasion and all that sort of thing, and it's light. It is a bit stiffer than your, like, ballistic nylons or something like that, but it's, um, I believe it was originally uh, developed as a sailcloth, so you have, like, all these layers and all this water resistance and all that. It's also got a DWR coating on the front and, uh, like, all that kind of stuff. So... On here, you have these nice, big, wide straps. This feels uh, pretty darn good. It's not like the cushiest, but I have carried a bag like this. I actually have this in um, dry wax canvas as well. Here's that dry waxed canvas one. And this one has gone to all over the place with me. Uh, I've taken it to shows like pen shows and that sort of thing. I've taken it to, uh, it went around the, the whole North Carolina zoo with me one day. And that's just, it was carrying like a, you know, some water and a camera and some other odds and ends and all that sort of thing that I didn't want to put in my pockets all day. And I was actually surprised by how comfortable this strap material was because it doesn't look like the cushy strap material that a lot of other places use. And actually the material on this new bag is slightly different. They went with a glossier uh, glossier uh, material here, which is uh, it's kind of nice. Uh, I think that, let's see, would this look good with this? Uh, maybe. It'd be okay, but I think I like the, I like this matte looking fabric on this one. Alright, let's look back at the X-Pack. So that's the fancy material that uh, that um, caused me to get this and the, uh, you know, all those details. I really like the way that it fits. It has this nice buckle that slides easily enough to adjust. Uh, but once you get it in, like, where you want it, you're probably going to let it stay there. But a nice chromed buckle there. Then we have a Cobra buckle here, which is an interesting buckle. You may have seen these on things like roller coasters and, uh, I don't know, like three-point harnesses for race cars and things like that. What you do is you pull down these little tabs right here and it releases. That's how you undo a Cobra buckle. So, uh, very nice. Doesn't come loose unless you want it to, and then it does. There you go. Way easier from that side. So, there you go. And so that's so you can, like, take this off and, you know, swing it across your body very easily. But, look at that. That's so good. I love a Cobra buckle. This is a big... Big metal one and not the little plastic ones. Now, these are uh, very nice AquaGuard zippers here. Let's get in here. The interior, still that beautiful orange. I do love that orange a whole lot. Actually, let me make sure these are AquaGuard. Doesn't actually say on their site where the uh, zippers are from. Uh, they do feel like you know, AquaGuard. They're not um, super stiff or anything like that, like sometimes those uh, zippers can be, but I don't actually see any markings on the zipper or the pull. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, there it is. There's the YKK. Yep, AquaGuards. I'm not surprised. That's what they seemed like. All right, in the interior, really beautiful, soft, uh, 
like canvassy material for these orange uh, bits inside. You have a little pocket right here, which can uh, carry like small odds and ends that you want to keep separate. Uh, it is a bigger pocket than you think it is. It actually goes about this uh, this far across and about this deep. It's almost the same size as this exterior pocket here. Uh, but I've put all kinds of things in there. That's a good place for a wallet if you want to keep it in a place where it's going to be very difficult to pickpocket out of there. They have these little separation areas here, which are great for a phone. Uh, that kind of thing. I keep, uh, I throw my phone in there when I'm using this or, uh, you know, wallets or whatever you have that you want to stick in slots, chapsticks and whatnot. You can actually stick an iPad back in here if you want to. Although with the case, I will say it is a little bit hard to get in there. But no case. Uh, no problem. It slides right in there. This is the full-sized um, uh, iPad Pro from a few years ago. So the larger iPad Pro, although not the huge one. So it fits in there really well without a, uh, without a case. All right. So that's that pocket. In the front here, you have another one of these curved pockets. And I love that these pockets are curved because when you're wearing it, they just pull so naturally across the bag that they aren't pulling the whole bag across. They're just kind of like this nice curve. I love that. Super good. Another two little pockets here in the front and then a big old uh, key ring lanyard here if you want to stick your keys on there. Also has track there on the lanyard. So very attractive, extremely comfortable bag. And uh, I'm really looking forward to this one because the colors on it are just striking I, I love that color they don't really show the interior of the bag on the track website which is too bad uh because like they need to show that more actually do they even show it on the uh on the x-pack version i don't think they show the interior at all there's like one little shot of the interior and that's kind of it so i was guessing that it was still going to be orange uh and it is so uh black and white orange interior. I, I love a bright interior because you don't lose things in there unless you put orange stuff in this one. Maybe you'll lose it, but you know, it's still going to be, it's still going to be good. So really pretty. This one's going to stand out more than the dry wax canvas one does because that one's sort of an olive sort of color and it kind of blends in with your clothing more. This one is for people who want to be noticed a little bit and I'm okay with that. Let's look at the second bag. Okay, so this is the second bag, and this is something I just sort of saw on the sale page. These are limited time production items over at Track. This is the Zero Waste Sling, and it's not one that I had really looked at before. Um, I mean, I, I guess I'd seen pictures of it or whatever, but in their, their product photos and with this white and black uh, colorway, this nice, nice label, actually. I don't mind this label. I don't love a giant label on things, but this one's pretty good. Uh, you have a much thinner strap, but this is not going to be something that's going to be carrying a lot of stuff. This is just under, uh, just under one liter of space. The larger one is about uh, six liters, so that's your, your comparison there. Same kind of mouthy zipper. No lining in this one. All right, so this one's just a pocket with a, uh, with a key lanyard is essentially what we have going on here. The deal with the zero waste bag here is that they have uh, designed it in such a way that all the offcuts and everything can be used in other bags or used in this bag or used for repairs. Uh, so they use all that material in house and it doesn't get, uh, doesn't get just like thrown in a landfill or something like that, which is very cool. So I wasn't sure exactly how big this was gonna be, but it definitely looks like it'll fit my phone and wallets and uh, all the, uh, the other, like accoutrement, like you're gonna throw some, you know, you're gonna throw a chapstick in there. Uh, you're gonna throw probably a pen or two in there. You're probably gonna throw a, a notebook in there. One of these, one of the guys. Yeah, and all that will fit in there really well. And then I think this will uh, be really nice. Let me put it on my, let me put it on real quick. Yeah, as I suspected, this sort of curvy mouth of a zipper does just pull very nicely once you have it on your body. Uh, and uh, it is one big pocket, so your things are going to jumble around in there. But if you're a person like me and you use bags and bags and, you know, that kind of thing, or you're going to throw your pens probably in a pen case and not just loose in your bag here. Uh, this is the kind of thing that I have been using quite a lot recently because in the, in the winter, I'm probably rocking joggers. And joggers have very little in the way of pockets and everything falls out of them. So one of these is great whenever you leave the house because uh, you just throw all your stuff that you would put in pockets into this little bag and then just like, you know, wear it and it's, uh, it's all right there for you, but not in your pockets, weighing you down or falling out, which is the worst. 
And then in the summer, I'm wearing like, I don't know, basketball shorts or workout shorts or something like that a lot. And so uh, again, pockets are just like weak and shallow and things all fall out of them. And this prevents that while giving me access to all the stuff that I would want to carry with me in my pockets regularly and also while looking cool. So a bit of an in a weird shape when it's empty, but once you have some stuff in it, it sort of fills out a little bit and it looks good. I this is an interesting fold they've got going here uh, on the front. I kind of think this is going to stay uh, kind of compact when you don't have a whole bunch of stuff in it. Let's throw a little weight back in here and see how it looks. Yeah, interesting. This is an interesting little bag. I'm going to have to give this a try and see how I like it. Um, right off the bat, I think it does look cool. Uh, we'll see how it goes. These are a little bit more expensive in X-Pack than they are in the uh, their normal dry wax canvas forms. They're 185 for the larger one, and this was uh, 60 bucks. But um, for uh, a limited edition X-Pack material, oh, it's actually really... You really see the difference, I think, between the weave on the outside and on the inside. This is extremely smooth on the inside. Really nice. Also, I like this. Uh, I like this for a key leash. Like this is a very good key keeper leash thing. It doesn't, you know, hang down too much and all that sort of jazz. So yeah, really nice. All right, cool. So there you go. That's um. That's some beautiful stuff from Track. So there you have it. Uh, definitely check these out online if you like this uh, this X Pack look. These are not going to be around for I don't think very long. You can also get them in a black on black X Pack, so uh, black fabric and also black zipper pulls if you want that all black look. But uh, I really wanted to go for the white and black contrast. I think it's I think it's gorgeous. Love it. All right. Thanks very much Track uh, for <laughs> for making this bag so that I could purchase it. And thank you very much patrons for giving me the kind of funds that I can use to get bags and pens and inks and all that sort of thing to show you. Uh, what you know kind of goods are out there to make your life a little bit better so uh, think about what you carry and how you carry it and take care of yourselves and each other uh, you'll see me in another video very soon peace out